YouTube is a pretty weird place. I first started this YouTube channel a while back, and back in the day, back in those days, this, I think it was two years ago at this point now, um, my YouTube channel didn't necessarily struggle. It was doing pretty well. It, like, it got 20 views on like most of my videos. It was doing, it was doing pretty good to be honest. But I took a break off. Obviously, I'm back now, and it's just weird to see how much growth I've been able to obtain up to this point. I've like watched YouTubers before, I guess, who've who've talked about this feeling of like not inferiority, but like just not feeling you know deserving of like what they've done up to this point. I remember watching a video by Draw with Jazza, if you guys know who that is, where he just kind of talked about, he, he said he called it imposter syndrome. He talked about how he had these feelings of like inferiority, how he just didn't feel like he stacked up against these other great, amazing creators. And that's kind of the point where I'm at now. Even though I'm still relatively small in terms of like YouTube, I still, have you know a hard time like understanding just how like how my videos have been able to take off while other other people have uploaded frequently for for multiple years maybe even like sometimes five years at a time and they haven't been able to experience this type of growth that i've had in that long of a while and you guys might be thinking you know that's not true or whatever but the thing is it is true my my little brother he has a youtube channel where he fishes on it Fishing is a passion of his, he's, he's been doing it ever since he was little. And he decided he wanted to start a YouTube channel, you know, a while back. I think it's been three years at this point, and he's consistently uploaded for three years now at this point. He does hunting stuff, he does fishing stuff, he does everything outdoors basically, and he consistently uploads, you know, whenever he can. The longest he goes with a break is maybe a month, but in the summer it's multiple uploads a week. He does YouTube shorts, he does everything he can trying to promote his channel. And in his three years, he's never experienced growth as fast as I have in my one year. And it's just something that's really sad to see. There's another smaller creator out there. His name is Gary Gala, and he literally has the exact same style of videos as me, except they're way higher quality. I talked about how in the video, one of the videos from yesterday, how I don't script my videos out. And as you guys can tell, I don't really do any editing either. I just have quick jump cuts from thought to thought and that's about it. But Dury Gala, he has some, he has some very high quality videos and it's the exact same style as mine. He talks about philosophical questions. He, he talks about things. That's on his mind. He just does basically the nearly the exact same style of content as me. And he's been doing it for, for over a month at this point now. And he's only at 17 subscribers. Whereas I've been doing it now for just barely over a week. And I'm at 240 something subscribers. And it just really makes me upset. I don't know, you know, why my channel has been taking being able to take off. I don't know why you know other channels haven't been able to take off as quick, but it's just, it just makes me sad to see other creators who are trying just as hard, if not harder than me, and yet I'm the one getting to experience this type of growth and development on my channel. And it just really makes me sad, and it makes me feel almost you know undeserving of what I have up to this point. With that being said, though, I'm sure that all of you guys, in one sense of another, have felt you know. A, a sense of inferiority to others. I remember whenever I first started my job that there were these people that were older than me. They they seemed like they knew what they were doing. They were, they were teaching me what to do and I felt like, you know, I could never be them. I could never know that much stuff. I, I'm, I'm like terrible in comparison to them. I'm sure many of you guys have felt the same. Whether it be in school, you may not feel as smart as somebody, or, or in sports, you may not feel as athletic as somebody. But the thing is that we all have to remember is we all have our own talents, we all have our own strengths, and we all have our own weaknesses. And it's not fair just to think that you are undeserving of something just because you don't stack up or don't feel like you stack up to the other people around you. For some reason, whether it be known or unknown, there is a reason why you were put here on this earth and you should never let the, anything take that away from you. No matter 
what in your life has been going wrong, no, ma no matter how inferior you feel, no matter how much in comparison to somebody else you feel. The thing is, we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people. We just need to be ourselves. Guys, I don't really have anything else really to say, um, but guys, I do want to let you guys know that uh, even if you guys feel down in the dumps, even if you guys ever feel, you know, sad, unworthy of something, undeserving of something, I want to let you guys know that there is a reason why you're given that position, even if you can't see it, even if you don't know why you are there yet. Cause that's in the situation I'm in. You should never feel bad or sad about yourself just because you don't see yourself in a, a specific way. Guys, I also just want to say thank you guys so much once again for the support. Even though I, I don't feel deserving necessarily of, of this stuff that's been happening on my channel, I do want to tell you guys that I really appreciate it. Each and every one of you guys who like the video, who subscribe, who comments, that, that really does make my day and I cannot tell you guys enough how much the support over this last week has really uh, it helped me out. I also just want to say once again that I do have a discord server if you guys want to be able to interact with some of my other uh, audience members or if you just want a place to hang out find people to play Minecraft with do other things like that then that's where I'd go. Also another quick shout out to Locket. Locket made some music for me and you might have heard it in my past few videos. He's a really awesome guy you should guys should go check him out he'll be down in the comments below as well. Other than that, guys, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, anything else, feel free to comment them below. I'm here for you guys. I I'm your biggest supporter, and I just hope that you guys can find a place to call home whenever you guys go to my own channel. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.